Hello everyone and welcome to this video. This in-between time between Thanksgiving and Christmas was a perfect time for a restock video. I had several things around my house I needed to restock and I also had some windows that I needed to cover to keep the cold out and a few things outdoors that I needed to weatherize as well. I hope you enjoy this video. I'll just pop on here and there and put on some relaxing music. I know these new toothbrushes look exactly the same. That's why I kept the old ones there. Just so you guys know, these are new toothbrushes. I just do that so my husband doesn't get confused, to be honest. My kids had already broken into their new toothbrushes, but their old ones were looking really rough. Even though I had several of these windows to do, I'm just going to show you guys one window because it is a little bit of a time taking process. It probably takes me about 20 minutes to do this correctly by myself and I like to put the adhesive on the vinyl window itself instead of on the wall on the outside because it is not recommended for drywall and I was really afraid that first of all we were going to get stuck with the blinds open or closed and then it was probably going to tear up the drywall when I took it down. So I'm just taking down my blinds first, putting the adhesive right onto the vinyl side of the window after a thorough clean. This is a little razor blade that I got from the Dollar Tree. They come four to a pack for a dollar. And I was being very careful because I did not want to scrape the actual vinyl. I just wanted to get any of the texture and paint and different stuff that was on there off so that the double-sided tape could stick really thoroughly and actually make a seal. You might think the weather's kind of cold since the little places where you can open the windows kind of poke out on the corners, I just took a little piece of paper towel and a tape, sort of like a band-aid, and made sure that those were not going to be poking through the plastic after it shrunk and was right up against that. Oh no, you've got a hand to hold, come along out and play, what a wonderful day. 
starting off with the double-sided tape, I just put it down, pushed it really thoroughly a few times with my thumb, made sure that it was thoroughly stuck on there, peeled off the top, and then overlapped the corners. And I made sure to do this all the way around and make sure there was no wrinkles or bubbles in it before putting on the plastic. Your white cheeks are so hard to resist Those red lips are longing for a kiss Come along now and play What a wonderful day Christmas is almost here Let's toast to a very good year It's just you kind of date I'm all yours and I can hardly wait come along start the show having fun in the snow your white smile is bright and my day this was such a satisfying thing to do Come on in, come on up, come on over For the merriest time of year Come on up, come on in, get together For a good time, smile my dear Come on in, come on up, come on over We'll be dancing round the tree I did want to show you guys too, these are, this is a window that I did in my kids' room and I feel like the more windows I did, the better I got. You can't even really tell that this one is on there. It is almost crystal clear and no wrinkles, but it definitely keeps their room a lot warmer. So if you struggle with leaky windows, then I would highly recommend doing this and just following the package directions. A swinging Christmas, just like one, two, three. Like I said, they probably got better as I went, but also when you heat it up and shrink the plastic, it makes it a lot better and takes a lot of those wrinkles out. I just use my hair dryer like it is recommended on the package. Christmas just like one, two, three.
After everything was done inside, it was time to weatherize the outside. I just put this faucet cover over the faucet that I use and it's right outside my kitchen because I don't want it to freeze up and make the pipes burst or anything. And then I'm going to be putting a zip tie on my other faucet that is not right next to the house because honestly, I don't, it doesn't really matter as much if it freezes. It probably won't. It just needed to not be available for the kids to turn on and get soaking wet during the winter time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing and watching more of my videos here. And I will see you in the next one. Think about how I'm so lucky to have a place that I can come home.